Well, six months after a magnitude 6.4 and 7.1 earthquakes hit Ridgecrest, the city is still rebuilding and reeling from constant aftershocks. We sent 17th Carawa back to the area last week to see how people are recovering. While some damage in Ridgecrest has been repaired, it's people in mobile homes who've been hit the hardest. People who had the least to begin with who are still struggling. It really hurts. For Bridget Scoggin, this is reality. I was inside the house when it collapsed to the side. This house was her dream. It was, well, it was going to be mine. Her pride and joy. I was buying it to own it. Now? It's destroyed. The floor jacks came up from the ground. There's big cracks in the walls, in the ceiling. Her furniture, food, almost everything she owned. Most of it got left or ruined. And she's not alone. There's 30 mobile homes here in this park alone that went down. And people has had to sign it over because there was no help. To this day, those homes remain knocked off their foundations. Still red tagged, no repairs in sight. Yeah, she's lost a lot. But what she hasn't lost is a community to lift her up. Two months after the earthquakes, the local Lions Club partnered with the Grace Lutheran Church to buy Bridget a new mobile home. We were able to give her things like silverware and basic needs like shampoo, conditioner, and things like that. She has a home due to the community. She doesn't have a home due to just one person or one group. With $60,000 from individual donors, the club helped house more than 100 people like her. I like the fact that Ridgecrest draws together when, it's, when there's a time of need. Thank you. Thank you. Without them, I would not even have this. I would literally be in a dining room on an air mattress or out on the streets. Her new home sits just blocks away from her old one. So I'm grateful to have this, but... I miss my home. A reminder of her loss, a reminder of her trauma, a reminder how there's hundreds more like her who need support. Don't forget Ridgecrest. You know, we may be a small town, but people are suffering still, and they need help. Karen Hua, 17 News. And Karen is going to be continuing these reports on Ridgecrest and what the rebuilding process looks like for people there and in the surrounding communities. She has a series of reports coming up later tonight at 5, and then we're going to continue them this week on Sunrise and the news at 5 and 6. Again.